Yes, guys, welcome back and thank you guys for joining us. This week we discuss Sam Kerr. Is she the greatest Australian goal scorer ever? And also, Arsenal Fan TV, are they in the mud? DT, Troops, all of them? And <laughs> FIFA actually listen to us. Let's jump into this one, man. Breaking. Hello, hello, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the Born Offside podcast for another week. Firstly, before we kick it off, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for your comments, for getting around us, liking and subscribing. It's been awesome. But you know what? I think we've got a new feature now because I never saw this one before, but you can what's rate it? the podcast Oh, now. you can rate it. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if that means we're, we're, we're going up or something, but we guys, you can flick us a five star. I mean, if you're not going to give a, it's kind of like an Uber driver. Like yeah. if they're awesome, you give them a five star. Otherwise, you just don't rate. It. Yeah, exactly. You don't go out of your way yeah. to give no. a. No, I reckon we're five star. Easy. Yeah, I you're would there say already. So. You're yeah. on the page. Just yeah. move your finger yeah. to that little exactly. star. It'd be much appreciated, you know. So, but thank you so much for all that support. We appreciate if you can. it. If you can spare a moment, I'm joined by Olan Tackers and kicking off with Cat. Guys, thanks for joining me. It's been a great week. Olan, Chelsea, Chelsea, you know Chelsea, yeah, do yeah, it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> But then I'm up and down, so yeah. But yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy. Didn't you? You completely bashed Ziyech last week, he and then did. he did that know, for you. But I, what happened was he saw my TikTok. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then it was always in the group chat. All the boys were sharing my TikTok, so obviously he's seen it and yeah, said, "You know what? I'm going to yeah. show it and take it. What's good? Yeah. Top bins. There you go. There we go. No, after Fred's goal. wife reached out to you, I could actually I believe think I'm that just story. In and around the yeah, game yeah, now, yeah. you know Basically what I'm saying? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Quality from Chelsea. They win again against Spurs. Something about Spurs is just Tommy Tuchel now has played five games, beat them five times, five clean sheets as well. It's it's just pretty ugly. It's the bogey side. Your boys, Liverpool, mm, without Salah nice. and Mane, win again. That was great. Mm, that was firing. a good game. I did see the game. How did they play? Uh, well, I mean, mm. look, there, there's a little controversy, Some right? shit referee. Oh, really? As yeah, usual, there's a little yeah. controversy. Uh, I, I know. Is that I'm a pen cap? I'm going to say no. I don't think it was a pen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rare for a Liverpool fan. Mm. Yeah, I know. Very we humble always of you. Get, we always get labelled like that. But you know what? I'm a football fan before I'm a Liverpool fan. So, and so I no Salah, no money. And uh, Did you see Van Dijk's goal, though? Yeah, quality from Big Verge. What a player. Good to see him yeah. scoring again. But that's, that, that cannot be a penalty. He's just clashed into the goalkeeper. We've seen a lot of them given. Alan mm. Shearer came out during the week saying that VAR has made referees worse. Mm. Yeah. I don't want to spend too long on referees because no. we smashed him a little we did bit. smash him a bit last week, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. But... Mm, I don't, Shira, just, he just talks too much sometimes, man. I just, sometimes the stuff that comes out of mouth, I'm like, bro, he, sometimes he's giving, and I've watched him for match in the day back yeah. in England, and he'll be slating keepers. And I'm like, bro, you're a striker. Yeah. yeah. You don't know, you don't understand how a keeper needs to move left or right. Yeah, he's yeah. like, a keeper should have saved that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> sometimes I take what he says. Like but do you think, do you think he's wrong in saying that referees are doing a bad job now that they're kind of relying on VAR and almost changing their decisions just because... VAR is encouraging them to do it? Nah, I don't think they're doing a bad job. I reckon they're just heavily, there's some sort of pressure yeah. mm. to to go and uh, go and see that second division, yeah. especially because now the players know yeah. whenever there's a decision, you can see them in their ear like, yo, VAR, VAR, VAR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I reckon it's, it. there's a pressure of it. Totally. I don't think they've changed. I, think they, I don't think they've got bad or worse. I don't think I've asked you properly on this show, but are you a fan of VAR? Like, are you, you agree now that we've seen enough of it, it belongs I in the game? I reckon it's taken away... The unknown. Is that a bad thing? And I don't know if that's... I, I liked the whole debate of, what, is it a pen? Was yeah, it a pen? Yeah, yeah. I'm not Has sure. Has that debate gone though? Yeah, it's still not really still gone, is it? It's not really gone, but like now there's a little bit more clear skin as in like, mm. that should have been a pen. We can yeah. look back on it and yeah. see kind of thing rather than... And all the whole offside thing, I, I don't like the offside thing, mm. I won't lie to you. Yeah. Because like, I don't know. What, what about you? <sighs> I think ultimately it's good for the game. They yeah. just need to fix the way they go about it potentially and, mm. and how often they go to VAR, what yeah. they go for. But ultimately, like when you when you used to see a goal go against you and the guy's blatantly offside or he's used his hand mm. or something yeah. like that, you wish VAR was in the game. Totally. You know what? I was down at the Australian Open this weekend. You were. Mm. And Lucky. And it we, didn't get, we didn't get no invites. Nah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Out of budget? All right, Big cool. things only. You know, <laughs> Big things only. It was an invite, invite only event. Uh, I went down there and there's no more... Challenge, you know, because it's all technology now. They don't have the line judges anymore, oh. which is great because every call is spot on. Yeah. yeah. But I'm like you, Alan. I miss that. They like, miss that they make a mistake. He challenges yeah. it. He's right. Yeah. The crowd goes yeah. off. Yeah. Like, exactly. No more of that. Um, I, I don't know why this just came to me. Like NFL, mm -hmm. right? And I think they brought in the similar sort of thing with um, technology and yeah. VAR. But they're only allowed. I, I don't know if I'm wrong or right, but they're only allowed to like challenge a play or call it to VAR a certain amount of times a yeah. game. Yeah. Um, do you yeah. reckon? they could implement that in the VAR as in like 
They it can, can only, only go, happen a couple times. It can only happen a I few times. You, you can only happen a certain amount of times a game. Like a captain's challenge. Yeah, I bet it most sports. <laughs> 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 most sports, there is some kind of yeah. restraint on how many times you can challenge yeah. the decision. Yeah. It, it does I re- work. I reckon they should bring it in with VAR. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I, don't I don't know, know how it works. I, I don't. I just maintain that the issue is not with VAR. The technology is fine. It's just the referee that's looking at yeah. the screen. Yeah, and it's yeah. and I said it last week. Um, t- it takes so much conviction to be a ref because you really yeah. have to believe what you're saying. Yeah, you do. And if we continue to see this kind of, oh, I take it back. Mm. You know, it's we're going the other way. Mm. True. That's it facts. makes you just feel like every time the ref actually makes a call, like, do we really believe it? Yeah. That's or are facts. we waiting for VAR just to to question Confirm it all over it. again? Mm. Mm. That's true. Yeah. I haven't really thought about it in that. In that sense, ah, it's a tough one. I'm not going to spend the podcast talking one. about referees no. and, could be and, and dark things. Let's <laughs> let's let's skip over it. Let's talk about this. Look, this is this is was a positive for Villa fans, seeing as though they they beat Everton. It's not so positive for Everton fans who are now just points out of the relegation zone. What? There's word that Dominic Calvert Lewin could be leaving the club as well. Lucas wow. Digne was sold and assisted the winner back at Goodison against them, Yikes. and then was hit with a water bottle from the crowd. <laughs> Right, definitely on side. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is what I wanted to ask you, Ola. Like, you know, we, we don't condone violence, but oh, I condone it heavily. <laughs> if you score against your old club and you celebrate at that ground, oh, that's violence. Can you expect a bottle? That's violence. Yeah, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Man, that's violence. I know. In there, th- like, Dinya was there for quite a while. Yeah, as he was well, loved there. Yeah. So I, I, I'm still behind the whole like show them respect. Um, if you were. At the club that long, and they then they f- they really liked you, and then you're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, I'm but you can tell him off. You don't have to throw a bottle at him. Yeah, yeah. nah, bottle does the job. <laughs> <laughs> Cat onside or offside? The oh look, it's offside, but you yeah, get you it. get the frustration, yeah. right? To, of viewing that. Yeah. But what I was just thinking about is how good it would feel for Gerard to win there. Yeah, yeah, that's massive. as a Liverpool, massive. That's Everton, a come on. I'm such a big fan of Gerard and um, Villa. Yeah. yeah, I reckon they're like Me my too. second team. At it's the a match made in heaven, yeah, isn't I just it? Yeah. Like, I just like it. And there's obviously the rumours that Luis Suarez yes. might be on his way there as well. That would be massive. It the was a massive coming win. back together. Yeah, they, they, they're getting the band back together. It was a huge win and bad for Everton, as we mentioned. The man was actually charged, if anyone is wondering. He was oh. charged with assault. I think he'll be banned from Goodison Park for quite some time. <laughs> oh, but I'm gonna like I'm worried about you two right now. If I was to like, go to another podcast or something, I'm sure you two oh, would help violence. me. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm putting the money in I depends. never would now. I'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'd take out an AVO. Just, just make sure you get the podcast name right, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> blooper reel. Thank you. Yeah. Um, now we're gonna we're gonna bring it home for a second here because we're gonna talk a bit of A League action. Okay. Unfortunately, I wish we were talking more games, but mm. we haven't had as many. But we had a big mm. one, Perth, the other night, beating Sydney FC. We haven't seen much of Perth this season. As Sydney much as we would like. bottom. Well, they're not bottom, but I tell you what, they're in the mud a little bit. <laughs> they're in the mud. They up. are in the mud oh, a little bit. Down there. And Danny Sturridge got on, played the last half he hour. He was nice to see him. It was nice to see him. Yeah, yeah. The flight wasn't <laughs> too long for him. He doesn't have to worry about that because they can't get back into Perth. Oh, what? So the, their plan was that they were going to start playing home games as of the start of <sighs> Feb. The government's announced they're not going to open up. So there's big what? Drive. Oh, feel so, they're, so they're not even making excuses for like a, an exemption, sorry, for the no. Perth players to come back into. Well, they, they they gave them an exemption to come home for Christmas. That was a big deal. Oh. But no, they can't actually play any home matches at the moment. But they're still doing quite well considering. Yeah. Wow. But it's just it's just disruptive. You look at it you look at what's happening in England, like, you know, and there's packed stadiums and everything, they're kinda yeah. getting on with it. You know? And even the Wanderers, I'm not happy that the Wanderers haven't been playing games and stuff. I know the Wanderers fans are probably feeling the same yeah. way. Especially when you're seeing other sports playing yeah. and you're seeing other um A League games going on, you know, like we just want to get down to Bank West. Yeah. That's it. I'm, I'm a passionate Wanderers fan. <laughs> yeah, that's evidently. Want to go see the boys. Yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of parts of Australia that are still kind of fighting yeah. against COVID, and yeah. the reality is, yeah, half of the people on this couch have had it. Yeah, it's just a thing. Like just we need to move it. on. Yeah, let Perth do their thing. But speaking of Perth, did you guys see Deborah De La Harp's goal oh, for Perth Glory banger. in the women's? Banger of a goal. Disgusting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But on that, okay. I met her on the weekend. Oh, did oh you? Yeah. what? But I, I've got a little story for you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Hit us, hit us, hit us. So I some like when Kat comes with stories. <laughs> yeah, Kat does Some, some people listening might much. know I'm a bit of an NRL fan as well. Okay, I okay. dabble in the NRL fantasy. Yeah, 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 and last yeah. season, I bought in the rookie Jason Saab for Manly. Okay. Oh, and Saab, he yeah, scored me. See, I know more now, Claude. Yeah, you do. He's a crazy winger. Yeah, rapid, yeah, crazy yeah, on the yeah. wing. He <laughs> scored not, me so many points. He's Nigerian too. Is he? Yes. Okay. I've I done my that. research. <laughs> nice. I like that. He, <laughs> I um, that. I held him all season. He's a player I never sold. Okay. Mm. 
Anyway, I was at a cafe on yeah. the weekend yeah. and I spot him. Okay. I was like, oh, cool. Fangirling yeah. a little bit, right? Okay. Yeah, this yeah, is my yeah. fantasy player. Yeah. Okay. So I G myself up to go and say hi, uh-huh. tell him I want a photo, uh-huh. which I do. Yeah. And then as I'm introducing myself, his girlfriend stops me and says, are you from the Born Offside podcast? No. You are I'm taking the piss. No. no. And it was we're none other. We've made it. <laughs> we've made like, it. Who are you guys? We're, we're, at, we're at Born <laughs> we've Offside. It, yeah? this, we've made it. Really? But it was none other than Deborah. Okay. Oh. Oh, shit. Footballer, young Matildas. This girl is all over it. Dead she loves the podcast. Oh, wow. I wanted to shout her out. Yeah. Big you up. Shout out. I want to get her yeah. on the podcast. Yes, please. Ooh, that's my, maybe even a guest. Yeah. Let's sort it out. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's get it cracking. Thank you. But that it was quite a sick. moment. Australia's it was quite a moment. couple, dream couple. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a power couple. That is a power couple. There's not really that many power couples when I'm yeah. thinking about it. In, in terms the world of sports here as well. In, no. in Australia, there's not no. really that many. Can, can you think of any? Like as in like... This one plays this sport, they play that sport, and they're together. I don't. No, not really. Not these days. Not at the moment. No. Yeah. I mean, if I got with. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie Carpenter. <laughs> if I got with Carpenter. Jeez. Then that, there'd be one professional that athlete is in the couple. <laughs> <laughs> I that was be, so worrying. There'd be one oh. cracking footballer in the couple yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah, well done, yeah. Claude. No, I like no, it. I, I'm the knee injury guy. <laughs> no, okay, here we go. <laughs> Could have been. Okay. It's a good story. I like that story. story. Yeah. I love that. Cat. That's awesome. A bit of an ego boost early on in the podcast. It was. It was. But also just, it's it's so nice to see that the podcast oh, is reaching yeah. genuine football fans, yeah. players, yeah. that kind of thing. Sick. Sick. And she's giving me a bit of credibility in front of Jason yeah. Saab. Love yeah. it. So thank you. Because that's who we want to reach, right? That's that's who we're doing this for. It's for those football fans. And that's it's one of those things. It's by the fans, for the fans doesn't have to be filtered or anything like that. I'm yeah. glad you brought up the Matildas because I want to talk a little bit about the Matildas. We That's mentioned <laughs> Kat's prediction was that they <laughs> won't win the Asian Cup. Yeah. Uh, it's still very early it days. Is. It mm. is. Um, 18-0, they won their opening game against Indonesia. And ridiculous, right? Ridiculous. score. An NRL scoreline, right? Um, True on? that. What is going on? 18-0. Now, surely after that, it's all positivity. We're the best. That's awesome. We should be really happy. It wasn't. This is what was quite interesting, was in the uh, Channel 10 coverage, mm. right? Yeah. Georgie Omendale, fantastic modern mm. face of the female game. Oh, yeah, game yeah. And, she played for Wanderers as well, Great right? player yeah, as yeah, well, yeah. right? And, mm-hmm. and But brought up the point and had a lot of support on social media, which was that Gustafsson, the coach, should have played a B-strength squad, should have played younger players rather than playing full strength and bringing on more full strength yeah. players 9 nil up to completely yeah. destroy this team. Oh, that's got to be... Yeah. Onside I, or offside? I reckon that's... I reckon that's offside. What you what do you need to prove? Mm. It's Indonesia, bruv. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you need to prove? Like, especially Jeez. if you go. I just feel like if you go three, four nil up, and you, I just don't know what they expected. But I just feel like at that point, yeah. it's a training game. Mm. Yeah. It's, you're you're not playing. You're not doing the same stuff that you would do in a high intensity game. But surely game. You, you want your players to play until the final whistle score yeah. as many got be, be ruthless you want yeah. your players to be ruthless right I'm yeah I'm with the with the thought of if you're on the same pitch as me we're at the same level yeah. so like yeah. it doesn't matter you could be Premier League yeah. and I'm yeah. League 2 but if we're on the same pitch yeah. then we're here to play yeah. together yeah. I'm a big fan of that but I just feel like when it gets to a certain amount certain scoreline it's not competitive anymore mm. nobody cares mm. well past 5-0 I'm not tracking yeah, <laughs> <laughs> five nil down or five nil up? Five nil up, five nil, no, no, five, five nil down. I'm not tracking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just you give up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> knee injury. <laughs> I, I have like two mindsets about this because okay. I can understand from a from a confidence point of view, from a first game point of view, like setting the tone mm. for the cup. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Like put in your your best squad. Yeah, just show everyone what you've got. Right, mm. set the tone. Off a couple of really difficult friendlies as well. Yeah. I don't think they came out of those friendlies feeling particularly confident mm. about how they're doing. But that's my problem with it. Yeah. Though. Because this question was actually asked by Maya Page, right, yeah. on our Instagram. She actually DM'd us this one about Gustafsson and if he should have played the youth in this game. But you just mentioned those friendly matches. Why didn't we play them in those friendly matches? I yeah. mean, Team USA yeah. came with a B team yeah. and taught and us a bit of a footballing lesson, yeah, on mm. home soil. Yeah. Mm. I think those friendly matches, doesn't matter you're playing USA. Yeah. doesn't matter you're playing Brazil. It's a friendly match. Yeah. That's what they're there for. This is an Asian Cup match. Yeah, I agree I with that. I don't care if it's Indonesia or who it is. It's an I Asian Cup match. It's a competitive match. I hear that. You're at a tournament. I yeah. Hear that. Imagine, imagine, you got, imagine the three Lions rock up to the Euros and play the a B team first game. Yeah. Even in the qualifiers, they don't even play a yeah. B team. You yeah. know what I mean? I hear it. I hear it. I just think 
did they did they make those changes that were on the bench were they youth players coming on were they players that, that that was their first cap for Aussie or not that was the criticism that he's yeah. brought up he could have used That's that opportunity once they were up 9 once they were up 5 yeah. 6 7-0 then I, bring I get on those that. I get that but I also think like you said this is an opportunity to just show the world what Australia's got. Yeah. Are you actually going to just give the youth players a run around? Mm. Probably you should at some point when yeah. it's like 10 nil or whatever, <laughs> throw them on. Like, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But also on the other side, you've got Indonesia showing up and seeing that Australia is putting forward a full strength squad. Yeah. It's also a sign of respect. Respect, yeah. It's exactly saying right. we, you know, True. we know we're probably going to win this, mm. but we respect you enough to True. bring our A game. The, yeah. And, you know, at the end of the day, I've, I'm pretty sure Indonesia's only had a, a domestic league for like two years or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and they're not really footballing power. Yeah. Yeah, if I it was badminton, I'd if we're playing them in badminton or something, oh, I'd be worried. Yeah? Are they unreal? Oh, oh, really? Unreal. That, but, I you know, did football, not know maybe that. not so much. I did not know they yeah, were a yeah. badminton yeah. team. Yeah, I'm basing that off my Indonesian mate who's really good at badminton. Oh. <laughs> He's a machine though. Case yeah. study of one. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Waldo if you're watching. He's a machine. I love that. Um, but yeah, I'm basing it on that. But you know what though? Like, yeah, they're not a footballing powerhouse, yeah. let alone the women's game still developing in certain parts of the yeah. world as well. Overall though, Kat, was that a bad day for women's football? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a bad okay. day. It, it's it's a sign of respect to Indonesia. Yeah. They're so far behind Australian football anyway. They wouldn't have come in and expected to win. Yeah. Plus, I did see a photo of the team all taking a photo with Sam. Yeah, that looks yeah. sick. I yeah. think if anything, probably they doesn't. probably were just excited to play yeah. against those players and yeah. just like, you know, as let a, it, as let a it be. Are you, are you hitting it hard first um, 10? <laughs> Sam Kerr. Sorry? If I was playing against Sam yeah. Kerr, 100%. Yeah, I'm hitting it. I'll let her know you're there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be too She's going to remember that. But that's a sign of respect itself. Yeah. Yeah. If you go two foot on a striker first 10 minutes, yeah. it's a respect. Yeah, it's a respect. Like, I know you're good. It's not like, yeah, you're, yeah I know you're good. I'm going to hit gonna, your heart. This is going to be, yeah. I'm going to hit your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah for so. sure. But Sammy Kerr, she is a superstar. And you've always said, you've always brought up, Kat, on the podcast that you didn't have as many yeah. female superstars growing up. But that just showed it, isn't it? Everyone taking photos with Sammy Kerr that's showed amazing. that she is a superstar now in the game. Scored five goals. Crazy. Wow. I expect it better. Out of, eight, <laughs> out of 18. Sure, no, Sammy Kerr's scoring 8 9 yeah. out of 18. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm Gina. She scored five goals. She became Australia's all time leading goal scorer. Now, that is not only for the wow. Matildas, that is Australia's all time leading goal scorer because Timmy Cahill had 50 goals for the Socceroos. Wow. Sammy was coming into that game on 49. Wow. She smashed the record. She scored five. So she's now on 54. Jeez. She's crazy. She's, she's so good. So right. Good. So it, it's an interesting one because this one's blown up on social as well. And I expected it to just because I know how football yeah. fans are yeah. on Twitter yeah. and stuff, right? So Timmy Cahill is the all-time top scoring Socceroo. Mm. Sam Curry is the all-time top scoring Matilda. Mm -hmm. Sam Curry is also the all-time best Australian goal scorer in football, period. Yeah. Period. Okay, got you. Do we agree with that? Yes. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Numbers don't lie. Yeah, numbers don't lie. But here we go. It's it's the argument of the men's football v women's football. Okay. So Which when one's is harder? that argument ever gonna be is, is, able is, to is be explained? Could Sam Kerr bag fifty in the Premier League? Or sorry, have you seen not, her play for Chelsea? Yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying you know, I'm say, I'm saying could she bag if she played against <laughs> I'm going to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you're trying to say. There's, nothing wrong, was, there's nothing wrong with you know having an saying? opinion. No, there's nothing wrong with having an opinion. I know what you're trying I know, to say. I know the argument. Yeah. The argument is, is she playing against the same sort of standard that sh um, Cahill played against for okay, men's? Okay, fair enough. That's the argument. Fair I enough. Reckon. Yeah. Do you agree, Claude? It, it, it's tricky. Don't because sit on the fence. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I'm good at. It's tricky <laughs> because it's it's two different games, right? And, yes. and you can't actually, because of the laws of the game, yes. Cahill cannot play against Indonesia mm. women's. Yeah. Sam Kerr cannot play against Netherlands in the mm. World Cup or against American Samoa mm. where Archie Thompson scored 13 as well. Yeah. Right. They, they can't do that legally. Yeah. So you'll never see it. So exactly. It almost has to be treated. It is all football, but it's the records almost have to be split and treated separately. Mm. Yeah. I think the moment you start crossing the records into one another, you're going to trigger someone. Some, yeah. Um, I'm happy with men's and women's. I mean, you look, you look at now here in Australia, like with the A-League, the A-League men, A-League women, it's all kind of one. Yeah. Mm. Will the records be shared? No, That's and, and you're right to, that they yeah. shouldn't be. It's they two shouldn't separate, be. You know, it like the all-time international goal scorer recently, you know, Ronaldo broke the record, mm -hmm. broke Ali Day's record. Yeah. And straight away, there was a lot of criticism. Gary Lineker, who said, congratulations, Cristiano Ronaldo becoming the all-time leading international goal scorer. Mm -hmm. And he was slammed saying, no, no, all-time men's goal scorer. Oh. Because yeah. Christine Sinclair from Canada has scored mm -hmm. more. Right. Mm. This is where it becomes tricky. Yeah, but but also like vocabulary, right? You got to say the word. You got to say it yes. right. You got to say it correctly. And I don't disagree with that because it is a different game, mm. completely different. Mm. 
where we're dealing with different people, different teams. And, you know, you look at like Ballon d'Or and you have Alexia Puteas and, and mm. Messi and, and, and all these players and, and those awards exist because they are yeah. in a different competition. Exactly. It, it needs is. to be acknowledged. Mm. Because you cannot play against each other, it's got to be treated. It's all football at the end of the day. Yeah. It is all football at the end of the day. Yeah. But yeah, the records have to be treated as two separate yeah. records, I think. I yeah. think I agree. I agree with you that. Know? I agree with that. Because I was going to ask you, is Ellen White a greater goal scorer than Harry Kane? No. No? What's no. The stats, stats suggest I maybe. Would, I would just say no, but yeah. Stats okay. suggest yes, but I'm going to say no. You know? Harry Kane, yeah. No. Look, numbers are numbers, but I, I do agree with the the argument that because we will never actually be able to properly compare yeah. Yeah. the men to the women, yeah. there's no point yeah. maybe even talking about maybe it. Maybe there's a market for this. Yeah. As in what like, do you mean? Like someone that gets to both the strikers and say, you guys go and have a like a competition a shootout. A shootout. This is we'll kind of who like can, <laughs> who can bag the most it, goals out of, and we'll stick who I don't know I who. I feel like in the tennis, or someone you know. Yeah. In the tennis, I mean, there's there always this this conversation around Serena Williams and yeah. Federer, yeah. Rafa Nadal, because she's one of those women where you feel like she if she actually dominate. went up against yeah. them. Yeah. She, she even came out and said, said that she wouldn't. Yeah, it's yeah, two different exactly. games. They're, two, exactly. they're almost like two different sports. Mm. She came and out I, and said. Well, that's my point. It's yeah. like tennis is one of those sports where if you could compare yeah. men and women on any level, yeah. it'd probably be the most objective yeah. Got you. to just throw them onto a tennis court. Yeah. But even then you can't do even it. Then. No, it's, it's so, different. They, are, they, they yeah. are different. But the well, great thing about the tennis is the fact that they do have the equal prize money and everything i'm glad you brought up tennis because i'm gonna go to the ao quickly because the australian open has been taken over by football essentially it has so oh (laughs) yeah the australian open right what about andy murray thinking that people were booing booing right and and, and medvedev as well yeah yeah and that's but to be fair was there and it does kind of sound like a boo because it's like so low it's like this is like the vuvuzela (laughs) of the australian open yes except Tennis is the gentleman's game. You're yeah, allowed to say that, right? Game, and in yeah. football, you're allowed to say whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, onside or offside, yelling Sue at the tennis. I reckon, like, it's, if it's the whole game offside. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Come on, bro. Uh, not the whole game. I saw like, first, yeah. the first 30 minutes, yeah, yeah onside. But yeah. the whole game, now nah, offside. Nah. In yeah. Kyrgios' presser, he was like, I thought it was going to be 10 minutes, and it was two and a half yeah, hours. Yeah, 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 so yeah. we're not having it. It's too much. It's yeah, offside. Long. It's offside. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to say onside here. I think Fair I, enough. I love tennis, yeah. but I think it could use a bit of an atmosphere pickup, an injection. Okay. I, love I, watching the, I love watching the women's tennis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somehow we always go back to you watching yeah. women. I just like watching the women's tennis as well. It's okay. You know, it is. Great school standard. Levels. It yeah, is true. Close your eyes. Who's your, still who's your favorite standard. tennis player? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you mean by that, but okay. Uh, uh, who's my favorite who's tennis player? Who's your favorite player? tennis player? Marina yeah. Sharapova. Okay. okay. What about currently playing? Yeah. Anyone that's playing at the moment? Serena Williams. Anyone who is at the Australian Open? Maria Sharapova. We're going to move on. You're ridiculous. We're going to bring up Anna Kornikova there. (laughs) (laughs) Iconic. Married to Enrique Iglesias. I love that couple. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I'm going to move it on here. Yeah, let's move on. (laughs) Um, Let's go. Actually, let's go to the African Nations Cup, shall we? Ola? Yeah, we're out. Yeah, we're out. What happened to the Super Eagles? Everything that happens... Got no goalkeeper. That Paul, was a poor save, wasn't appalling. it? Appalling. Yeah. And I'm, yeah, I'm disappointed. For someone who didn't see what happened. Still no. Just bad goalkeeping. Yeah. Ooh, to be fair, a great piece of skill from yeah. the Tunisian midfielder. He's skinned three, four players yeah. in the build-up. He's had a pop from 35 yards. Keeper should be saving it. He's yeah. bounced just before him. Keeper should be saving it. He's thumbed it into his own net. I mean, we're never really known for goalkeepers, are we, Africans? No. So I just, apart from Mendy, but I give Mendy's him, a machine. Yeah, he's, he's changed the stereotype, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> but apart from that, I didn't really expect much, but... Here we are, you know. I expected us to at least get to like the semis, at least. Yeah. But I expected a bit more. At least yeah. semis, you know. But well, there's upsets all over this, obviously, because we saw in the group stage Algeria bombed out defending champions. Yeah. Mm. And we're going to look forward to a game. Cameroon, the host, are about to take on Comoros, right? Which we a country. I'm going to be honest. I'd never heard of. Yeah. Well, no. uh, what I do know about, in fact, the second largest uh, producer of vanilla in the world. Vanilla, uh, you know, like the bean. What? Vanilla yeah, bean? yeah, vanilla bean. What else? What else? A vanilla extract? Oh, vanilla okay. essence? Not, oh, I haven't I gone know. that far into it, Sorry. but they actually have to play this game against Cameroon without a goalkeeper. They don't have any goalkeepers available for the game, oh. so wow. apparently an outfield player is going to have to go in goals. What a story it will be if they beat Cameroon at oh home. It'd be insane. We're not really helping ourselves here with but the African Cup here. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me we haven't got a goalkeeper for the round of 60? 
<laughs> I'm trying to help us out here. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Glass half full or half empty, you know. <sighs> at the same time, you're going to see storylines you're not going to see anywhere else. And that's yeah. why I love it. <laughs> that's personally. what people like. That's, <laughs> that's what we love about it. I'm going to go back to European football now for this one. Yeah. Napoli in the Serie A. Mm. Mm. Onside or offside, quick one. Jerseys, right? Jerseys have evolved in, mm. in the football mm. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Napoli is sponsored by Emporio Armani. Oh, what? Right? That, that's, who that. does, that's who does their jerseys. Armani. Season, right? I tried to what buy a an Napoli jersey. <laughs> yeah, I oh, know. And it was just, you know. Tough more, to get? Very hard to get. Skin tight as well. Um, you can <laughs> trust the Italians. Very Italian. They have just released their 10th jersey of the season. Of the season. Okay. <laughs> so, listen. So one jersey. for every game week, basically. Pretty much. Listen to this, right? They've had two homes, two aways. Wow. Three Diego Maradona tribute jerseys. Ooh. A European home shirt, a European third shirt, a fourth shirt, and a Halloween shirt. A Halloween shirt. Onside wow. or offside? That's offside. What are you doing? Why have they got so many Why jerseys? Why is it offside? Why it's have fun. you got so many? It's fun. You're the fashion king. I thought you'd appreciate that. Don't you have that. a stylist now? Isn't that hey, cool? Hey, hey, relax, 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 relax. Everyone, relax. Olan has uh, a stylist I'm moving now. up in the world, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean I'm not grounded as well. You know what I'm saying? But I just <laughs> think that's too many. What? Yeah. But Tens a bit are they all are they all sold out? Is like people just buying them left, right, and center, or what? I wouldn't have a clue, but I like I, I, don't know. I, I guess maybe they drop them in limited. Look, maybe Emporio Armani, they're not here to stay, so they're just right. trying to make the most of their True. season. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah, release yeah, as many yeah. kids for me, I just think that's a bit too much offside. I like home away, and then like maybe like one or two more. That's yeah, what that's what I like. Yeah, Fair even enough. third kid. There's no real yeah, need. Yeah, no room. Home and away. I, Give me back sorry, to the classic yeah. Halloween. Halloween kid. Yeah, it is questionable. I do want to look up what they. Like yeah, I kind of want to see the jerseys. The new yeah. one's got like and flames on it. Oof. Diego Maradona's mm. head was on one. The Maradona mm. stuff is cool. Yeah. Like, why not? Yes. Why not? That but makes sense. My question too is: Are they going for high end prices, or are they? Yeah, is exactly. it Armani prices, it's or Armani. is it Armani. jersey it's prices? Armani, hey. Armani, wow. yeah, come on. Bellissimo. I wonder Bellissimo. what you know if they're actually selling. Expensive. Them. Eh? I'm sure they would be. They're a cool yeah. club, Napoli. They just got to get their their shit together on the pitch because they've bottled this title race a little bit. But you know, interesting one from last week's chat: onside or offside. I want to throw these to you because I. I don't know if we triggered Olan thinks that people are watching our podcast and we've triggered stuff last week mm. we spoke about Lewis Baker your boy oh, back yeah. from Luton yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah. the ends cause. Yeah, from the ends right <laughs> from the ends your boy Lewis Baker was sold f- by Chelsea after nine years on loan constantly at different clubs yeah. he played mm-hmm. two games for Chelsea mm-hmm. earned a decent salary though I'd take it to yeah. be fair. Two all, we all would too. yeah <laughs> nonetheless though he got sold to Stoke City scored on his first game banger credit to Lewis um, but a couple of days after our podcast, FIFA come out and they've changed the whole loan structure. Wow. So you can oh. now have only maximum eight loan players out as of next season. Wow, we're it's wow. like they were listening. We're fucked at Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We oh. are fucked. Oh my God. So that's days. across the board. That's our yeah. business down the drain. You can have eight loanies in, eight loanies out maximum. Chelsea wow. currently have 21. So what does wow. that mean for players currently? What does Would it all mean? You, what does reckon, it mean? What do you reckon, Claus? I reckon we're going we're gonna to have to sell, like, yeah. sell them. Yeah, look. Loophole. They're bringing it in, but it does not apply to players Existing. over the age of 21. Uh-huh. So it is. you can only loan out eight players under 21, apparently. So you've got your oh. youth academy. So it's really, it's really only only players between academy. 18 and 21 years of age. Mm. I think they'll be fine. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay. Sure I just want to throw that out here. Shock you no, a little you, bit. Yeah, you right. definitely but once shocked you read me. Into it, yeah. It's right. actually not okay, that bad. Onside or offside? Capping the amount of loanees. It's onside. Yeah, I onside. You yeah. rate it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop these players going around the yeah, merry-go-round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I'm going to stick with some London football. Let's do it. We're going to go to Arsenal. Yeah, boy. Yeah, the yeah, pride the and joy Gunners. of London. A solid nil-nil draw against Burnley. Lost Enjoy that. Lost me my, my Did you see my multi? Smith Smith Rose um, cross to Lacazette? Yeah, and that missed opportunity. Yeah, yeah. That well, was th- that's <sighs> what everyone was talking about. Like, who will be Arsenal's striker at the end of this month? Oh. Will it still be Lacazette? There's talk they're bringing in Dusan Vlaovic from Fiorentina. Mm. There's a lot of players linked to him. But I want to talk about Arsenal fan TV, which is really why we love Arsenal. Because every time something happens, like a nil-nil draw against Burnley in a game, they have to win. Yes. The first thing you do, you go to YouTube. Mm. You type in AFTV. Yeah, you now, do. A recent poll of Arsenal fans show 82% think it's been detrimental for the club and they want Arsenal fan TV gone. Do we agree? Wow. Mm. Want it gone? I don't know if we... I mean, because I'm not an Arsenal fan, I've always seen it as a joke thing. Like, well, mm. you boys, like, are you boys lost? I'm heading over to Arsenal <laughs> fan, but I've never taken it in from the perspective of an Arsenal fan. Yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean, you're, you're, and I think that even hurt the club in terms of it coming becoming a banter club. Yeah, it did. you know what I mean. Yeah, it it really did. hurt because people are like, oh, now I'm gonna go Arsenal turn TV and yeah. see DT and see all of them going yeah. on. Yeah. So I reckon it did hurt the club in a sense, but then it also gave some fans 
um, a voice yeah. that I've been at the club for years and not really had the voice. And, and 100%. so it's like got its goods and bads, but I real reckon it probably. If, if that was Chelsea fan TV and it was exactly how Arsenal fan TV is, would you be happy with it? I'd probably hate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, right? No, I agree with that. I think Arsenal fan TV is, it's an outlet for frustrated fans. Yeah. But it's way better for people that don't like Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I remember watching like ages ago an interview with Hector Bellerin actually mm. commenting on Arsenal fan TV. He's not with um, Arsenal now, but mm. when he was. Mm. And he said that the negativity that it it and the way that it impacts the players mm. is actually really bad. You and would and they wouldn't it. talk about it. Yeah. You would watch it. Of course it. you watch viral, it. You get sent clips. videos by your yeah, fans. Yeah. If they're in the change rooms and they can already see, oh shit, you know, this thing I did in the game is already on Arsenal fan TV. Yeah. That and would be the tough thing as is a the, player. The thing of all is that those origins of Arsenal fan TV, DT, Troops, uh, Ty, they've all built careers yeah. off Fair play. Arsenal fan yeah. TV. Yeah. So it's like, is it... Well, Fair quote, quote from Troops, right? When he was asked about this, he said he feels AFTV actually made Arsenal relevant in those years that they Fair weren't enough. performing on the podcast. That's offside. You can't, <laughs> you can't say that you about You can't club. say you made Arsenal fan TV relevant. <laughs> that's not. How, that's never a statement that should leave a fan's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah. You have to question it yeah. sometimes. So yeah. Onside or offside fan channels like that? You happy with them? If, I, if they're not my club... I'm happy. Onside. <laughs> it's my club. Offside. Cat, if as, a, your club? As, a, as a pretend Arsenal fan, it's offside. Yeah, you wouldn't be happy with it <laughs> no. either. Yeah, well, look, something tells me they'll be around to stay. Yeah. And uh, I'll be. I'll definitely be tuning in oh, every same. single time Arsenal drop points because yeah. it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a bit yeah. of a pick-me-up. It's a lot Monday. of truth as well. Let's it be is, real. It is a fair bit of truth. Yeah. Brilliant. We've all seen the brilliant moments there. Now, I'm going to stick with it. It's, it's a very UK-themed, British themed episode here Ooh. because you guys come up with some funny shit over there <laughs> hey we're just we're just we're just the funny guys you know? your, your, your media like you go from fan channels like AFTV to some of your newspapers over there are just they, they got no shame at oh. all the sun is one of them the sun is the worst oh, I think gosh. the sun is nothing, notorious nothing true comes out of the sun yeah and, and they're obviously look they love a good clickbait now this <laughs> recent article came out after Chelsea's win in the WSL right women's football now and their star Aaron Cuthbert called them out for their headline. Now, the headline, I don't know if... Did you see this one, Cap? No. The, head, the headline read, Cuthbert Harder, Chelsea scorers sound like posh people having sex. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Okay. Now, that sounds really bad. Where they're going with that, when at the end... So, Harder <laughs> scored three mm. goals for Chelsea. Cuthbert scored the fourth. Yes. So, the scoreboard at the end of the game read, Harder, 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 Cuthbert. <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> no, what? what are you laughing at? I'm just reading what? the article here. Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's just... I mean, I, right. I, I get it now. I get the... Okay, you I understand it. where I understand it, from. but yes. wow, I don't I don't think that should be a news yeah. title or t- article. I don't, it's, I don't think it's, it's... It's just one of those things you look up Why? the score right. and you, you go, ha-ha, you chuck, you and you move on. Yeah. You don't expect to see it as, yeah. a, as a news article, no. Well, The Sun, yeah, they, they put it like front page. You can see it there. Harder, harder, Cuthbert. Harder is their... their Honestly, oh, come right. on. It's a bit silly, come right? Come on. Now, Piers Morgan gets involved, as he so often does. I actually does. Oh, just Pierce. dislike this man so yeah. much. <laughs> he's relevant, but he's not relevant, you know? He's one of those yeah, ones. Yeah, he's like uh, relevant, but not. He's know? hanging no, in there. It's just gross. Um, best thing he ever did was actually Sharon Aldo interview. Oh, that was the best thing ago, he ever did. Yeah, but besides yeah. that, there's not much. There's yeah. not many no. other highlights. Anyway, he got involved, as he so often does. He tweeted. Remember that thing, Twitter? Anyway, <laughs> he got involved. He said, can't believe all the silly fuss over this funny headline. BBC Breakfast just did a lengthy segment featuring outraged women and er- erupting with rage. Calm down, ladies. It's called humour. This kind of Shut stuff happens up. to male players all the time. Get over yourselves, honestly. That was his tweet. Triggering. Who does he think he that is, is speaking for women, That is triggering to feminists. What? They said, calm down. Yeah. It's totally I'm not, even, I'm, I'm not a feminist. I'm Someone's triggered. Turn the heater on I was, here. Yeah, I was triggered just like, But yeah. I just I just hate the guy. Like, yeah. the... To think that you can speak for yeah. this whole gender that you're not a part of, yeah. like you don't understand it because it doesn't yeah. impact you. Yeah. Do you think like uh, let a woman speak about it? Do you yeah. think as a as a True. woman and a huge football fan, yeah. do you think that if that article, if there was if Harder was the last name of a male player and Cuthbert as well, and that article mm. was printed, do you think that it's also just as wrong? Mm, interesting. Would, I would just be interested to know if out of everything that happens in that game, uh-huh. that's what they choose to actually put as the yeah. title. Yeah. And it goes back to what you said a couple of weeks ago about Sam Kerr and, you know, when she shoulder barged that yep. dude in the game and yep. 
you know, it overshadowed everything else that yeah. happened. And yeah. I just think that this is the reality of women's football is the trivial stuff always makes the headlines. Yeah. Not True. the real Not stuff. The actual, okay. like, we didn't, we didn't even know what, what kind of goals she scored. Right. We didn't yeah. know well, they were good bangers or not. Exactly. But you all we know is the headline. You didn't even know they were goals. Yeah. Yeah. You just knew harder, harder, cup it harder. Yeah. But you had to understand the context behind that. Mm. Exactly, yeah. And so I think, like, we could say, yeah, you know, I don't think it would impact the men's game as much because it does get taken a lot more seriously. But I also just think a headline that like that probably just wouldn't hit it's a newspaper. Yeah, it's yeah. undermining. Okay. Well, I'm with you, Kat. Look, I, I, I am with you on that one. It's written by The Sun. So I think already yeah. it's like, uh, yeah, everyone's yeah, how, gonna, yeah. how much yeah. do you read into it? It's yeah. The Sun. Yeah. Yeah. But it got me thinking. Yeah. I thought, what has been written similarly in the men's game? I thought, like, let me see. Let's have a look. Historically. I found one. This is Sky Sports as well. So yeah, there's one thing talking about The Sun. Yeah. There's another thing talking <laughs> Sky Sports. Now, Man City couple years ago now we're going back to the bant era of man city Ooh. kevin keegan <laughs> this, is a, this is a while back had to replace peter schmeichel mm-hmm. right Great and name. uh and he signed david seaman right former english english Here goalkeeper he was head- class he was class, right? was class yeah and the headline read keegan fills schmeichel's gap with seaman <laughs> Is that is that breakthrough <laughs> journalism or what? That's, that's actually class. so clever. That's, that's so clever. So See, Kat thinks that's I okay. Think that's funny. <laughs> that's that's bullshit. Because that, right? that guy's that's been getting the semen jokes. I've never there. seen it, Kat. Come that on, is man. double standard. No you know what? way. You know what? I've said hundred percent double standard. That's just a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that sorry. A good joke. That's offside. And that he's been having semen jokes his whole life. Yeah, yeah. true, true, true. Yes. I remember the famous one, which was that Ronaldinho could lob semen from forty yards <laughs> because he chipped him, <laughs> chipped him at the World Cup in two thousand and two. Oh, yes. yeah. I just love I that. That's that. poetry. That vividly, really. I remember that vividly. That yeah, heartbreaking that, that goal. Yeah, I remember. Oh, it was the, the, do you guys feel really like sad about you know what? men being objectified in that title and everything? I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, thought it was funny. I felt I hurt you. Hurt someone. Yeah. You know, I hate it when women objectify me. I'm a man. Treat me as a man. Don't objectify yeah, me. Yeah, I've seen some of the comments on your TikTok. You know it's I mean? fair. Like, why am I being objectified? Oh, not that's what mate. happens I when you an ask accent and for I'm a woman. Big and I'm black. And you look similar to a Man United midfielder. And I look similar to this guy. Objectify <laughs> me. I have feelings too, you know? But anyway, we'll move on. Fair enough. <laughs> Turning into oh, a therapy session. Bullshit, he loves it. He loves the clout. <laughs> Slide into DMs. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to stop there. I'm going to read you another one, right? Because I found this other article, which is great. It was a Champions League article from 2008. Bate Borisov. Okay. Fantastic club, mm. right? Belarusian yeah, yeah. club. Big. They pop in the Champions League every couple of years. Okay. And they were taking on Juventus. Now, Juventus' nickname in Italy is La Vecchia Signora, the old lady. They're oh, yeah, as, yeah, right? yeah. They're the known as the yeah, old lady, yeah, yeah. Right? And they had a very frustrating draw against Bate Borisov. So the headline read, old lady unable to master Bate at home. But of course it's written, old lady unable to masturbate at home. <laughs> <laughs> but the B-A-T-E is in capitals. Oh my God. That is... <laughs> That's class. This is what I mean. That's this has been journalism easy. for a long time. Wow. I just ah, so ju- this has been going on for a while. That's This is that's a thing, Kat. That's this is, So that's all right. I think okay. it's funny. All right. So we know where we draw But you line. know what? No, They're not cool. calling out any particular player in that. True. Yeah. They're making a joke well, about Keegan the fills team. Schmeichel's gap. Okay. With that Seaman. was an exception. <laughs> that three players are being called out. And out of all of them, really, you'd rather be Keegan or Seaman. <laughs> you don't want to be Schmeichel getting his gap filled with Seaman. <laughs> so, if anything, one player was copping it there. <laughs> like, legitimately <laughs> copping <laughs> it. Literally <laughs> copping <laughs> it there. Oh, done. Oh, fuck it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's true. This has gone yeah, out of hand. That's good. Too that's killed me. That's, <laughs> it's, it's very offside. Yeah. It's very offside. So, it's on brand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's but it is funny. That's got to be the title of the pod, yeah. surely. But it is funny. <laughs> enjoy enjoy UK, UK media. <laughs> UK media. I love it. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. Anyway, enjoy. I think we can all agree that's somewhere between onside, offside. That's the Yeah, know. it's like VAR. It's VAR. Yeah. We'll, let, VAR. we'll let VAR. We'll let you guys do with that. Let <laughs> us know what you think. And uh, in the trend of letting us know what you think, we jumped into our DMs, checked in with some of the questions coming in from our fans. And the first love one comes that. in from Dion Argiratos. Argiratos. Nice. Oh, just, sorry, Claude. Just okay. speaking of DMs. Just cut me off, brother. Don't sorry, worry sorry. No, there, I got good, this bro. funny DM. Oh, you right? did. And this is this is from Adrian, right? And Adrian. He, and he said, tell me this ain't your boy. <laughs> and he sent me a picture of you, right? Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it so the camera can see. Maybe we'll get it pop up. This okay. is Claude's. That is definitely me. And then he sent me... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Show me. 
<laughs> okay. I think that's you and that was okay. open. <laughs> All right, let me clarify something here, okay, for you? <laughs> Can we get that zoom in on that? Let me, let me clarify. Like, is that you? Let me cla- that looks What's like, going on? Bro? Someone's Why put a filter look- on my head there. <laughs> <laughs> do you look high as fuck? So- <laughs> What's going on? Let me clarify something. Oh, explain that one to okay. That was funny. I had a few people send me that my head came up on the Australian Open <laughs> last night. Okay. Now, that was at about midnight. <laughs> okay. After watching the game was five hours of tennis. Okay. I don't know how many beers I sunk while I was at the tennis. <laughs> and I worked that morning. I had the show for oh Optus in the morning. I hadn't slept. I love yeah. It wasn't my finest moment. <laughs> fucking mask on my face as well. Like, that wasn't my finest moment. Do you know the amazing. funniest part? That's is the guy amazing. had to send like yeah. an original photo of yeah. me. Yeah, he was like, is this your boy? Like, first photo, second photo. Just I hope you said no, it's not him. <laughs> I didn't reply. I should have replied. Oh, my oh. God. Yeah, anyway. so funny. Oh, that's so that's funny. Sorry, no, not my finest moment. I'm though. crying. That's so anyway. funny. Hey, we're just busy working, Claude. Yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Fair enough. Uh, you know what? You made the TV. I got on TV, yeah. Never been there before. Let's move on. Where were we? Anyway? Let's, let's go from a question from Dion Argiratos. Thoughts on the new uh, under 23s in the MPL? I had to think about what he was talking because we're in New South Wales here, Dion, and mm. we're far from an mm. under 23s in the MPL. So I had a look. Mm. Queensland have an under 23s okay. in their MPL now to try and bridge the gap between youth football and senior football. They're putting in under 23s. So there's. So, uh, okay, so it's first grade. You know, here we got 20s first grade. Yeah. They've now slotted 20s, 23s first grade. Kind of like the Prem, because the English yeah. Premier League has got, got Premier League 2 mm-hmm. over there. Mm. Victoria do 21s. Yeah. New South Wales just do 20s. And at that point, go straight to first grade. Do you think players like I need that extra few years? I reckon 23s is better than 20s. Yeah. Because... You're not ready at 20 for first grade, or...? I just feel like you might need, you might be on the borderline. You might have, I, I think 23s, so 18s, then 23s. Yeah. No, yeah. well, well, you go 18, then 23s, you 18, 20s, then 20s. Oh, no, 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 no. That's too much. No, that's too much. Okay. That's yeah. too much. So a 19 year old, 23 year old should be playing together? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. 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 Technically, I mean, you're, de- you're developing physically as well. So I think 19 to 23, I reckon that's a good development stage for people to be playing together. Um, I've, uh, 20s, after 20s, if you're not, if you're not, good enough for first grade I don't think mm. I don't really see the point unless I guess maybe like what physically if you're a centre half mm. 19 your yeah. body hasn't maybe yeah. developed like yeah. a 26 yeah. 27 year yeah. old but by 20 like I said that's why 23 is maybe a good shot because yeah. by 21 22 you should have yeah develop that yeah. physicality and know how to use your body True. and yeah. all that sort of thing so I reckon 23 is actually a good I idea prefer it over 20 so inside there you go, Dion. I know a big problem in the in the women's game here in New South Wales, Kat, mm. yes. is that once you pass under 17s, you go straight to all age women. All age. That, yeah. Oh, what do you think about that? that? Rage well, me. I mean, I I'm just that. used to playing against such a variety of women mm. in terms of age. Mm. Um, some teams are so, they've been around and they've been together for so long. They're like in their early 30s. Some are really young. I play in a team where like I kind of feel a bit old because mm. they're mostly early 20s. Yeah. But were you ready to play first grade at 17? Like were you physically ready to no. play with full grown women? Yeah. I started playing my best football when I was like 24, 25. Okay, mm. so they, they the women's game should also definitely have and another So I, I think that it should definitely be like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, d- I just reckon that's too much to ask. So you're asking a 17 year old to then go and play first grade yeah. football. Yeah. It's a lot. If, and it's like, if there's you're not- no other option. There's no other option. Yeah. Like you're not, you're, you're, even, you're either good enough yeah. or you're not. Yeah. At yeah. 17, yeah. how many players are you losing in that system then? Yeah. yeah. So many. It's true. You know what I mean? So I, I really, I really, because a lot of the girls that I coach as well, they're, they're in that stage where like the 17 trying to break into first grade and it's like. And there's a lot of other things that are off the park as well. You know, as a young footballer coming up into first grade, there's things that change in the change room as well. It's a different vibe, you know, mm. even things like Completely. Sh- showering after a game. Mm. I know like that a lot of the young boys aren't used to that kind yeah. of stuff and you come up into first even grade. Even that yeah. whole like different environment. Banner environment, banter, you're a bit small in your shell, you exactly know, you're not, right. maybe if you're small in your shell, you don't mix with people, you don't play your best football, you exactly. don't feel confident, exactly. you know. So. These are full grown men, some of them married, some of them, you know, it's a whole mm. different lifestyle. So I, I agree. The step, yeah, absolutely. The step should be there. That's a, that's a good point, Dion. Uh, I think our thoughts are that we agree with it. Yeah. Up there in Queensland, the under 23 is a good system. And actually, when I caught up with Graham Arnold for an interview, I think it was a couple months ago. Yeah. Name drop had to do one. Uh, he said the same thing to me. He said that's what Australian football is lacking because so many of his players that he released from the A League, mm. they were good enough. They were just young, and just he, there's nowhere else to go, yeah. so they mm. end up in the MPL. So I, I agree with you there. Last one, Tim Lewis has Pep and Man City made the Premier League a Farmers League. What? 
What kind of question is that? But by, by, by being so far in front and dominating, is it now a farmer's league? Like, it's the same reason you would have said the Bundesliga was a farmer's league. What, because he's doing a buy-in or something? Yeah. No, but or, I just... Or I just, French league. I don't feel like it's even... Because the farmers, a farmer's league, by definition for me, is at the start of the season, we go, PSG have won that. Yeah. yeah. So-and-so have won that. They've won that. At the start of Premier League, can you, can you sit down and say, Man City have won this league? But can you say it now? Possibly. Okay. And how many other European leagues can you say that for? French league, German league, possibly. But to be able to say it year on year is different, I think. Mm, okay. This year yes. is somewhat... So if he does it five years in a row, then 100%. Talking. Mm. We're talking... Like, up until this season, it's there's always been a battle. At yeah. least to the, those last, you know, yeah. 10 to 8, 8 to 10 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that one season means that it's a farmer's league. Yeah. True, it facts. just means City are having... A really good season. Yeah. So, what do you think about Tim? Tim smoking that stuff again? It's not Tim, a farmer's league. Tim, chill. Yeah. chill out. Good, good. He's up on that stuff, yeah. Tim. But nonetheless, I love it. You're, you're playing on the on the line of the last defender, yeah. and that's why we love you, Timmy. I'm not going to say it's a farmer's league, but keep throwing those outrageous yeah. opinions out there, guys. And that's for all of you. Throw in your questions, anything you want us to talk about, whatever's on your mind. It can be ridiculous, like my friend Timmy over here. But why not? Mm. We say some stupid <laughs> shit on here too, and we I do. think I'll be the first to put my hand up we do. there. So please oh, yeah. send all that in. Is the Premier League a farmer's league? Let us know what you think, guys. That's been another episode of the podcast Olan thanks for uh, making a mockery out of me <laughs> with that photo anytime Claude thank you for story time hey that was awesome hopefully another one next week and hopefully we hey, can get him on the show just, as well uh, born aside we're just out there we're just out there right now yeah. right? we're outside yeah, yeah, yeah. we're outside whatever that means I still haven't figured out what Olan means by that outside but I feel like you figure it out only but he can outside. say it. It just sounds cool when he says it, but not when I say it. I'm, I'm outside. You got to say it with accent. We're outside. We're outside. That's it. That's Love it. that. Cat, give it a go. You sound I'm like Doctor Strange. Cat, give it a go. I want to hear Cat say it. Go We're on. outside. All right. End the podcast. Right. And on that, on that <laughs> bye, guys. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs>